for you guys today. Can, already... can I just say that I am not excited about this? Yeah, this was one of those, Sarah, come on, we're going to do it. Okay, what are we eating? Hot Pockets. You, do you guys remember the... Ew. Do you guys remember the Doritos, Roulette Doritos? This might be her Roulette Doritos. It could be. Or it could be oh. a bad situation. But she's got composure. She'll be okay. I'll be just What's fine. The This is Timmy P coming back at you with another edition of Timmy Eats World, the show where we eat the things that you may not ever want to eat. We do it with style. Oh, wait. I was going to say so you don't have to. Oh, <laughs> well, that works too. We do with style too. Um, what we have today is a, a, a item that doesn't get a lot of a lot of good press out there in the world. Comedians have ridiculed it. Uh, the EPA has deemed it a danger to the world. <laughs> and your toilets. <laughs> your bowels have decided that they want nothing to do with them. <laughs> but here on Timmy Eats World, we don't shy away from those things. We, Apparently not. We look at them and go head on. And I'm talking about Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets! No, I've done Hot Pocket things before. And I'm not, a, I'm not a, a guy who shies away from a Hot Pocket. You know, I've always thought they're okay. They're not gourmet. You know, you're not getting, you know, high class stuff. But mm -hmm. if you're in a pinch and you're living by yourself or with your parents, they're not they're not too bad. <laughs> so what we have for you guys today. Can, already... can I just say that I am not excited about this? Yeah, this was one of those Sarah, come on, we're gonna do it in the... Okay, what are we eating? Hot pockets. Do you guys remember the? Ew. Do you guys remember the Doritos, Roulette Doritos? This might be her Roulette Dorito. It could be. Cause, or it could be uh, a bad situation. But she's got composure. She'll be okay. I'll be just. What's fine. the Jim Gaffigan line? It's a pop tart with nasty meat. <laughs> with, with nasty crap. Okay, so here we go. Now the one we have today is the barbecue chicken with the cornbread crust. Oh, it's like not shaped like a regular hot No, it's hot not pocket. shaped like a regular hot pocket. Take a look at the picture. It is kind of in a half moon shape. Yeah, like I don't know why. Tortilla. I don't know why they're trying to do that. Branch because they're trying to make you realize, make you think it's not a hot pocket because hot pockets taste like eh. So oh. they're trying to get away from that. Like, it's, this isn't a hot pocket. It's like a hot empanada, envelope of love ooh. thing. Yeah, it's, it's like the misdirection. It's like a magician. Yeah. It's like, look what's over here, and then bam, crap in your face. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. Now, Please don't sue us, Hot Pockets. Yeah, don't sue us. We love you, Hot Pockets. <laughs> this particular Hot Pocket, again, like I said, barbecue chicken, but also has corn. Wait, what? Corn. There's corn in there? Corn. If you take a look, oh. and I don't think I got a good enough picture with the corn, but... Oh, I see corn. There are kernels of corn inside with a... <laughs> Tangy barbecue sauce. Now, oh, tangy. now, 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 Sarah likes tangy barbecue sauces from re various restaurants. I yeah. So this may this may be you know, right up her alley. You know this may go. This may go. Hello, pop. This may go for her. This may be great. Uh -huh. So, without further ado, do we have a a, a spit bag nearby? Nope, because I never had one for all the stuff I had to endure. So let's go. Mmm. Aromatic. It's hard. <laughs> it's a crispy crust. It's supposed to be kind of cornbready, crispy. Oh, as you said, it's, it's a cornbread crust. Corn, cornbread, cornbread, cornbread crust. crust. Cornbread crust. <laughs> I want to see what you do first. Oh, I gotta eat first. Yeah, you gotta eat first. It's gonna buy it, burn my tongue. Ooh, because it is first. hot pockets. It is first. Hot pockets always burn the poo out of your tongue. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. I, I cooled it off a little bit. You gotta eat the whole thing. No, I do not. <laughs> you want to stay married? No, I do uh, not. Well, no. well, we know what kind of review we're gonna get from her. Let's see what I say about it. Mm, a less discerning palate. Mm. Here's what's the good thing, America. I don't cook, so this is why I'm glad I married him. He will eat anything. Uh, it okay. The first off, 
the texture of the corn is what really made me like, ugh. There does not need to be corn in there. You really, you really taste the corn. Yeah, I did. Maybe take, my half had corn. I don't take know. Take a big enough bite. I, I took a big enough bite. <laughs> and the meat, it, t it it's not real meat, I don't think. And it had kind of that like, um, like, Oh, I can't even think of the word, but I'm a terrible food reviewer this evening. It kind of tasted, it's just, it's that fake meat, like cafeteria, you know. Cafeteria. Like meat from a can? There you go. That's what it tasted like. Mm. And then the sauce, so the sauce, your I'll give it to him. Your potted meat. The sauce wasn't that bad. It tasted like a barbecue sauce. Yeah. The crust is disgusting. Because I've never really liked the Hot Pocket crust. I don't get a cornbread taste from it. I just get Hot Pocket crust taste from it. No, I think they, they said cornbread because it's bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all they're going for. Bumpy like, bread is cornbread. Do we'll, hot we'll, give, we'll give them the same thing we've been giving them. We'll put some bumps on it and save the corn. Yeah. Or make it like a weird like bumpy texture. Yeah, I think it's, 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 I'm sorry, Hot Pocket and Hot Pocket lovers. I can't. I I try. There are many things in my life that I do not enjoy, but if they're presented in front of me, I will try them again just to see because you know the older you get, your your taste buds change, your palate changes. Watermelon is one of those foods for me that I did not like as a child, and as an adult, I continue to try it like tangent. once a year. Tangent. That's me. Like this, they call me Tangent Sarah. But I'm just saying, I thought, okay, maybe I'll give the hot pocket a try, and because he asked me to do it, I thought, okay, maybe, because there was a time in my life, folks. I ate lean pockets because I was like, okay, you know, they're lean, help me lose some weight. They were still gross, but I ate them because I ate with poor. And B, it was like, okay, something to heat up for lunch in, in you know, the lunchroom because of where I work, it's just easy to do. Eat on the go. But this is gross. Sorry. Sorry, Hot Pockets. So Coming from the other side, it, it wasn't that bad. Um, I guess from... The dude side who's eaten, you know, bachelor foods um, for many years, and I've eaten, I've eaten some stuff. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. Your stomach can tell stories. Um, <laughs> no, uh, but I mean, I've eaten some, I've eaten some like kind of like bottom of the barrel stuff. Encore. Encore. When we first met, he's like, "Honey, let's get encore." I was like, "You live with me now. You're no longer a bachelor. You don't have to." Eat I, I could, I could have an entire segment on. The wonderfulness of encore. And it, I probably, it probably tastes, it probably tastes like absolute garbage right now to me. No, because no if you doubt. think that tasted okay, you're probably like, encore's great. It's probably okay. It's probably <laughs> Sorry, right. encore, don't don't sue us. But I still eat frozen pizzas like Totino's. It's all good. Anyhow, I will um, I thought it was okay. I thought the, I mean, cornbread crust, no. Um, fla crust. Flavor wise, okay. I'm not big, you know, chick, uh, corn texture. Yeah, I'm not. That texture didn't bother you. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a texture person. I can oh, eat anything. Yeah. It doesn't matter for me. But as far as Hot Pockets go, like just like the spectrum of Hot Pocket, it was roughly average, okay? <laughs> they've, they've, some of the better stuff with like the spaghetti sauce and the meatballs and the marinara or whatever inside, those are the good ones. The stuff when they kind of branch out to other stuff, not as good. This was kind of not as good. Don't, as, don't encourage you to get this. As you've said in other videos, it's better when you know companies kind of stay in their lane. Yes, like, yes. You know, don't don't branch out from the stuff you know you do well. Yeah. Stick with your hot pocket pizza, hot pocket, occasionally ham and cheese. You know, maybe a beef, <laughs> gravy. Gravy's easy, <laughs> right? Yeah, stop. It's good. It's good. So um, we'll never eat those again, <laughs> except for the other one that's still in the freezer, which I'll probably eat tomorrow for breakfast. Oh, and then he won't be hanging out with his wife for the rest. Of then it's time for a road trip. Ha <laughs> ha! 18 hours in a car. I'm kidding. We're not going to Anyhow, Hot Pockets, um, cornbread, tangy chicken. Um, avoid like the plague. Unless your kids like them because they don't know any better. Our kids would not like that. They've never, they've not tried it They yet. would not. Well, I don't think they'd like it. Give them a chance. Let's do a, a little people eat world. <laughs> See what they think. But they are particular about their stuff. But that's a whole nother segment for on the show. Mother. Indeed. So that's all we have for tonight for Timmy Eats World. Hot Pockets are disgusting, <laughs> according to my wife. Uh -huh. And if you want to buy them, don't. Don't. But if you want to keep following us and you like us because we're cool and awesome, 
You can check us out on all these social media sites. You can like us on Facebook. You can check us out on YouTube. And please subscribe if you happen to hit the thumbs up. see something you like, hit the thumbs up. Or comment if you have something out there that you want us to try that you think is so bizarre and we wouldn't possibly eat it. You couldn't be more wrong in the world. At least he will. I'll stuff <laughs> it in my mouth and pretend like I'm enjoying it. So, for Sarah P., my lovely wife, I am Timmy P., and we are going to see you on the other side. Timmy's world! Chat. That was so gross. Oh, no. It was okay. The texture, it was why I put corn in there. That it, was gross. There was no need for that corn. It could have been like a pulled pork kind of... I've had a pulled pork before. It's, okay, but that's what I was kind of thinking that was going to be, but then the meat was cut like a slice, and it hits your tongue, and it's just... You know what? My problem was not enough meat. Well, that's the thing. You just got like a slice of meat in there. Yeah, I don't think it was a slice. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs>